to the sun in the sunshine state. Florida Power and Light now making a huge commitment to turning Florida's rays into power. And it is also a move that could mean lower electric bills for all of us. News Channel 5's Matt Sesney live in St. Lucie County where some of that solar power will be generated. Matt? Shannon J, it's all about cost because solar power, we're told, keeps getting cheaper. Out here in St. Lucie County, I'm standing in the midst of 500 acres of solar panels out here, right off of I-95, more than 300,000 solar panels in all, and it's all part of a wider goal by FPNL to get 30 million solar panels up online by the year 2030. This is the future, right? Yeah. Stephen Hyman of FPL doesn't seem to be exaggerating, standing in the middle of a 500 acre solar farm in St. Lucie County that he says is really more of a power plant. In fact, it used to be a farm of citrus trees. This site here is uh, comprised of roughly 330,000 solar panels and will generate 74 and a half megawatts of uh, clean emissions energy. That's a, enough power to, to power about 15,000 homes. This is just one of four new solar farms coming online this year. In the next decade, FPNL plans to add millions of panels, taking advantage of the Florida sun in a way that doesn't pollute the air. What's driving this move to cleaner energy are advances in solar technology that are not only making the panels better at absorbing power from the sun, but also doing it less expensively. And lower costs can likely mean lower bills. The four plants that we're bringing online um, sometime early this year are expected to generate about $40 million in savings for customers. Top that with eight plants that we brought online in uh, 2018. Those are projected to save about $100 million for our customers over their operational lifetime. So lots of uh, savings from fuel uh, with these plants. All right, FPNL still does have many traditional plants around the state of Florida, including two nuclear plants in Miami and St. Lucie. But the advantage these solar panels have right now is they are getting cheaper and they are getting better. And Florida certainly has plenty of sun. Live in St. Lucie County, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.